When that last video I had a lot of people ask me questions and comments if I had moved, well, you were exactly right. We we're in the process of moving actually, we've not moved over here all the way yet. Probably be about another three or four weeks before we're finally living over here. But we are moving the sawmill to a better place. Right now we're just really getting some stuff together, having some concrete poured in a few weeks. And the biggest thing is getting this shop in order. So today's video is going to be a shop tour here. Not, not a lot to show you really, just kind of a before to reference to later to show you guys what it looked like before I done all the work. And there's a lot of work to do in here. This farm, it's kind of like a mini farm. We got about five acres here. Was a uh, rabbit farm. The previous owners uh, used it for rabbits. So uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of rabbit hair in here to clean out. It's pretty nasty in some places, but it's not too bad. We've got a lot of cleanup to do in here before we can bring our tools in. Right now I'm just using it to house the tractor. So I've got the Mahindra behind me, as you guys can see. And uh, my newest tractor also was a New Holland. I showed that one in the last video. The previous owners used that to mow with, and I went ahead and bought it for them when we bought the house. My neighbors over across the hill are staring at me. They're not used to having a person who makes YouTube videos live next to them more than likely. They'll get used to that in a hurry. So anyways guys, do a quick shop tour and uh, the next few videos over the next few weeks gonna be me bringing over timber and getting this shop in order and ready for my tools to go in it. Gotta hang some more lighting. It's got some fluorescent bulbs. I like the LEDs better. So we got some lighting to hang, some cleanup to do, and so also we gotta take up some fences out here and cut a few small trees down. So I'm gonna grab the camera and show you guys around, give you guys a little idea of what I've got planned here for this shop. And the dimensions of it, just so we got that out of the way, 20 feet wide and the length total is 70. Of course, there's two doors here to walk through. This is kind of like its own shop right here. This area is 20 by 30 with a solid concrete floor. And out back, I'll take you back there and show you, that's where a lot of the rabbits were kept at. And it's got some sidewalks poured and stuff like that, which will be good for drying lumber. But, uh, just gotta do some cleanup back here. So 20 by 70, and it's got its own power coming to it and its own water supply also. So ignore the shaky camera work here, kind of show you guys what I see as I walk in. This is the main garage door coming in. And uh, this was a nice find right here. The previous owner decided to leave me his generator and his wood chipper also. This chipper was used in his little compost operation. I'll show you guys in a later video. There's a small organic garden with raised beds also right here beside the shop. This is pretty much just a standard metal building. It's got a little bit of insulation in it, not a whole lot. It's pretty thin actually. Got some fluorescent lights hung up already. I've replaced that one this morning with LEDs. You can tell the difference there on the back one and this front one. And uh, this shop area here, like I said, is 20 by 30. There's only two lights in it, but there's places on the ceiling, or conduit rather, for uh, six lights total. So I'll be adding five more to this area. Also, I have a side access door to come in as well. And uh, it does have some windows on the side. And a nice concrete floor, just needs cleaned up. This shop also has its own power. It's got a 100 amp panel. And not a lot of circuits are being used off this. He's just got two outlets in here and some lights on both bays. And in here, you can see plenty of spares. He just used a few breakers for the lights. Like I said, just two outlets that I found so far. So we got a little bit of wiring to do here, some 220s to run. And of course, right here in the middle, we got the New Holland and the Mahindra. Of course, that's just uh, temporary, just to keep these things out of the weather till we get moved over here and I'd get a more suitable place for them. Those things will not be stored in here. This shop will house all my hand tools, the, the uh, table saw, the planers, the jointer. All the things I need to do woodworking with will be in here and also all my chainsaws as well. And uh, pretty much all my tools will be in this part of the shop. Back here in this other corner, there's some leftover tools that he left behind. I'll gladly take possession of those. Some panels, just to use those for the rabbits, I'm assuming. There's a little wheelbarrow that pulls behind the New Holland. It's got a flat on both sides, actually, to repair that. Uh, back here in this corner is where I'll probably put my wood stove. I gotta find a way to put some heat in here. I'll probably run a wood stove like I did on the other shop. As we turn around here, there's another door that accesses this other area. And this area back here is 20 by 40. 
So as we walk back into this other area, he's got a work table he had. I'm assuming it was probably had something to do with the rabbits. It's pretty nasty and it smells. I'll tear all it out of here and get rid of it. And uh, down the middle, you see those two befores. He's got a little framing structure set up. And even back there on the very end as well. None of it's structural. It was just used for his little rabbit operation. So I'll be tearing all this out and cleaning it up. And uh, sorry about the lighting back here. It's pretty a little dark. These lights back here, they do work when they have bulbs in them. They've all burned out though. As you can see, he's got a place for multiple lights. There's three on each side actually. It's been about, I think maybe he said two years since he fooled with rabbits up here. And this place has been kind of vacant for the past two years. And during that time period, the bees have taken over. There's several nests back here I gotta get rid of. Another good feature here, he's got water in the back and on the far end down there is also a water source. So that's pretty good to have. And this is what I was talking about, these sidewalks. They're, I think they're uh, 36 inches wide. There's two of them. There's also footers on the outside that the building's attached to. So I'm not decided yet. We may fill these little uh, areas of dirt between the sidewalks in with gravel or I may pour concrete. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm really trying to figure out what to do with this space the, to get the most out of it. I know I'll be storing some lumber in here for air drying. That's a given because of the airflow on the sides. And I'm contemplating doing some other things. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna to have to really just tear this junk out of here and get this thing cleaned up to see what the space looks like in and try to make a good decision after that. And uh, something else here that's interesting, on these side walls, the first panel actually folds up on both sides and uh, he's got a hinge on there and I reckon he was telling me that he used to open them up on the sides during the summertime in order for his rabbits to get some better airflow in here. So both sides come open which will be ideal for airflow when you're drying lumber. So one of the first things I noticed when we was looking at this property was the uh, potential for the sawmill operation here and all the stuff he had in place even though it's for rabbits it kind of makes sense also for a lumber sawmill operation. Now I'm at the back of the room panning forward. So you guys can see what I got to work with. It's going to look a lot bigger in here and look a lot better when all this crap is tore out. He's got wires hanging from the ceiling. Rabbit hair is all over the place. That framing will come out. A lot of work to do, but it's not too bad. So... A lot of you guys were wondering in the past few months why I didn't start that drying shed at the other house. Well, the reason being, we were thinking about moving, so I didn't want to start something and leave it behind. Not a lot to see right now, just to give you guys an idea of what I got to work with and what's going to be going on here. And a lot of shop videos coming at you. A lot of uh, shop, uh, I guess, renovations, I guess you could call it. All right, guys, that's it. Not much of a shop tour. Just giving you guys an idea of what we got to work with and what's going to be going on here on the channel for the next few weeks. And uh, real quick before I forget about it, I, had, I got two emails a month ago. I'm not sure what the people's names were, but they were asking about these suspenders that I wear. This is actually a new pair I just got the other day. But I'll leave a link down below to that company. It's over in, uh, I think they're over in Oregon, I think. Oregon, maybe? Somewhere out uh, Pacific Northwest, somewhere out there, but they made these and they're about $43 a pair with shipping, I believe. I'm not sure. I think that's pretty close. So if you're interested in those, there's a link down below to that and you can go check them out. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support and watching this channel and hanging out with me here for the past month when I didn't have a lot of stuff going on. But expect a lot of videos now that we're finally getting this move going and bringing all the sawmill components over here. The biggest thing was bringing the mill over today. There's nothing better than getting a text message when you're talking as it beeps in the background. I'll answer that later. Tomorrow, we'll be bringing over our first load of timber here. I've got about seven walnut logs that's been on my trailer for about a month that need to come over here and I'll go ahead and start sorting those out. We'll also put this Mahinder to work for the first time. I'll get some logging chains and pull them off and we'll try these pallet forts out. It's just gonna be really nice having a reliable piece of equipment here to move logs around the sawmill. My bobcat was just getting to where I had to pray every time I turned the key on. So this thing should be good to go. And I got a warranty with it. I didn't mention that the other day in the video. We get a seven year warranty with these Mahinders. So that's a good deal as well. And so anyways guys, we'll see you back tomorrow. And uh, you guys on Patreon, you guys are awesome. I appreciate your support over there. 
And uh, if you're interested in Patreon and supporting this channel, there's a link down below that also. Those guys on Patreon knew about this happening a long time ago. And what I do over there is I post updates that's going on at the sawmill that never makes it to YouTube, but also things that you guys don't see for a month out sometimes. So if you're interested in supporting us over there, I sure would appreciate it. And we will see you guys back tomorrow putting this tractor away. At least it don't, there's my phone again. Every time I try to say something, the phone beeps. At least it doesn't stink in here. I kind of thought it might smell like rabbits or something, whatever rabbits smell like. It's not too bad, actually. Of course, there's a lot of ventilation, but these doors are open. be going on here guys on the next few weeks on this channel was really just transforming this small farm into the new sawmill operation so super 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 super